Yeah. Well, to that, absolutely. I do the same thing. I'm all over the place. I, I need to get it because I'm always on the flat side. So I got to I got to disrupt and get in there somehow. <laughs> What's it, Pat? What is 808 doing now? Fucking jumping jacks? Yeah, last time I talked to you, uh, you only had a two pill, but that thing, that two pill, you were fucking kicking ass with that two pill, man. I know, I know you're the only guy around your neighborhood with uh, the CB, but still, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, for a two pill, you were like fucking king shit with that two pill. You talking about me? You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, well, well, well. yeah, you. I'm talking to you, John Doe. I remember that two pill, man, and like I, I didn't believe it. And when people are saying, you know, right, he's using a two pill, he ain't using a two pill and getting out like that. I'm like, holy shit, man, you must have been like putting 25 volts in that sucker or some shit. Yeah, I got out of radio for about 15 years, and then I got a uh, start out with a little two pill sidewinder. That's probably what you're talking about, then. Yeah, you were getting out all the time with that, and it was just for a two pill, like it was impressive. Like you were getting out a lot, and not sometimes, all the time. So when you keyed up, we heard you like. You know, I mean, there's no shaking it with that two pill. It was awesome. Awesome. That is awesome. Like I said, the first time I ever keyed up, it was bare bones. Yeah, man, I remember my first contact. His name was 1104. He was my mentor. We all know who 1104 is. <laughs> the meanest man in Texas. <laughs> when you keep up, you fucking know you're not getting out. Audio, man, this was so cool. I had no conditions, right? My, my car is acting up, so I don't have my setup in my car. And I only have 20 watts, and then that's when Skip's coming. So I'm trying to hurry up to go home. Then I hear 1104 talk to one of my locals, and they're like, shit, shit, shit. And he's using, I know what he's using. He's using a 667 at 400 watts, and I only have 20 watts in my car. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm long-winded, man. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. This is on 28. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to... I'm not ever going to get it. Out, out of nowhere, 11.04. Hey, 8.08. I hear you in there, 8.08. And I, I didn't hear you all the time, but I heard you. In, like, holy shit, you heard me in my mobile at 20 watts, man. And he heard me in there. And that whole pile of big radios, he heard me with that 20 watt, man. And he told me hi because he said he heard me. And that was pretty cool. Hell yeah, that's real cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. I've done that before with two people. Two people. Audio Man and 122. <laughs> Audio Man, I hit it from my house. Bare bones on a unit in 520. Little beady fucking radio. And, uh, time and then the other one I did 122 with the setup I got in my car here about on that uh, fire stick antenna yeah 
all kinds of antennas and uh, I have a Wilson 5000. I got like all kinds of uh, Ranger competition and I still use a top load antenna. You know what I mean? They don't break really. The only time they break is if someone snaps it or you go under a, a parking lot without, with, with, you know, and you can't fit. So uh, that's the only time they'll break, but uh, I'm a top load fan and there's nothing you can change about. Well, I, I talked to Audio Man about antennas more than once, and he's, he's brilliant at them. And I have an idea for an antenna, and I, I haven't done it yet, but I have all the stuff for it. <laughs> and Audio Man, he, uh, he told me what to do with my 102-inch whip, and I'm going to do it. I just haven't had a chance to do it. But I'm going to do it. That's going to be badass. Yeah, you're going to make like a one one beam dipole, like a one leg dipole. Yeah, right now, <clears throat> I've got two in my head. I could use two switches. You know, just have an antenna coming into a switch, just one switch, actually, a nice Alpha Delta switch. Have it come in, and then have my dipole here on a stick, you know, on a something I can put on the house and tilt it up and bring it back down when I'm not uh, transmitting because I'm in an eighty dark. That's what my antenna's in the end. So just lean it up, and I'll just lean the dipole up and everything up with a hundred and two inch whip, and then when I'm done, I can just lay it back down on the roof. But when I want to switch between the flat side and the back, I can just hit the switch. You know what I mean? That's what I want to try first, but. Well, he told me that it would work too. My friend did one with ski poles. He took four ski poles and made a beam out of it, like a one element beam. And uh, he kicked kick, kick an ass with that. John does something how audio man, something's going on with his, his meat. I, Maybe the mute button is right next to your release mic button, John Doe. Maybe. Yeah, I'd almost bet he did that, too. But if he uh, goes out, oh, he already went out. When he comes back in, it should reset. He did that once before. He should have known that. So I don't move it. I just leave it over there unless I'm looking at something or put one of these silly jumping jack things up, whatever the hell that was. I'm gonna find the one. Right, exactly. Exactly. Uh, ain't the first time he did that though. That's what's funny. I'm sure he'll probably be back. Yup, yup, yup. Ten on that. I hope you ain't trying to key up while we're keyed up. I mean, this isn't a two-microphone room. You know what I mean? I mean, you got to know how to do the jump activation to be able to do that. And matter of fact, I, I've never, uh, I didn't think to tell him how to do that yet. Send him a message, audio man. Maybe he'll come back. Creeper 104. He's got some kind of jumping jack thing. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> what the hell is that thing? It's a, it's a guy on the ground rolling around, cracking, like shitting his pants, laughing. 